anything? Yes, it does. All right. Ah ouais, donc là va falloir optimiser à fond le... Giving all praises, honors and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Ukakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that told me the truth that we well. Shalom to the elect scattered through the four corners of the earth. My name is Kwadash Paya. We're going to start off with the book of St. Luke 21. And start at verse 6. As for these things which ye behold, the days will come in the which there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be? That's when Yahweh Shai was talking to the disciples. And what sign will there be when these things shall come to pass? We've seen the signs happening. Verse 8, and he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, or also in the Hebrew, known as uh, Hamashiach, the anointed, because you got false anointed, false prophets, false leaders, you know, that's not giving you the truth because it's not in them and the time draweth near go ye not therefore after them right but when ye shall hear of wars and rumors so like here but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions be not terrified for these things must first come to pass but the end is not by and by then said he unto them nation shall rise against nation and kingdoms kingdom against kingdom and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven right and we know this eclipse is coming as well right and uh hey man war is brewing up over there in the middle east right now there's a lot of activity going on as people are distracted by the bread and circuses and entertainment, right? Russia is in the Red Sea now, you know, while NATO, uh, 30,000 troops headed to um, Ukraine, right? Let's get these first, right? Then you have the CIA as a legislature informed Israel that Iran will attack within the next 48 hours. This was yesterday. This was... No. Yeah, no. This was today, actually. April 3rd. But you have Israel take strict measures against Qatar-based media outlets. Al Jazeera. Jez Jazeera. For supporting Hamas. Right? Vows to act immediately to ban the these channels, I'm going to say it like that, that the Israel parliament approves law to shut down four news networks deemed risk, right, to secure, uh, Israel security. And then this guy, um, Jan Michael Flynn, the architect of the QA uh, you know, you know about the QAnon or whatever, right, he's saying he's trying to trick it's called it to believing that the Baltimore Bridge incident is a black swan event. And we, you know, I, I did videos, and Pastor did videos on the black swans events, you know. And um, also you have a list here, which I may go into it more thoroughly. You can read it on the screen right now. Um, but this is what's coming. You know, national disaster social unrest, insurrection, 
no financial crisis, no uh, security mer- uh, these security mer- emergencies, you know, and you have more and more bridges, you know, shut down. But also, Hassad welcomed uh, Syria bases to Putin, which Syria is holding down uh, huh, the Golden Heights, right? So, hey, go figure that out, right? <laughs> so with that, let's get I hear in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 49, verse 20, Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord, that he hath taken against Edom, and his purposes, that he hath purposed against the inhabitants of Teman, and who's uh, ruling over there in the land of uh, Israel today? Right? These Amalekites, the small hats, you know, which is the same lineage of Edom, Esau, the Edomites. You know, but primarily talking about the the heads of that. Um, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. And that, you know, everything that Israel is doing now is literally drawing out all these different nations to come together. Right? Which Putin um, spoke about protecting all the nations of you know, the is is to the Islamic state. Right? So we're gonna get that as well, because Putin is Russia's gonna be a guard unto these nations. And that's why there's so much military um movement, because the Lord's setting it up. As it tells you in Zephaniah, which we're gonna get, it says surely he shall make their inhab- habitations desolate with them, and they're gonna be destroyed. You know, because part of this war which um, going into the second death right you know you got the BRICS nations you got NATO and even these European allies are are, are, are feeling the repercussions when the scriptures say they shall hate the war which is Babylon the great America which is going to be completely desolate you know primarily you got it here in Jeremiah 50, but let's get another preset. Let's get uh, Ezekiel 38. You know, why everybody's so distracted, man. Things are brewing up. But it's not going to be, it's not going to happen until that hour of temptation really come to pass. The sea hip pursuing the, um, Pursuing to uh, Revelation 13 and 16. So this is Ezekiel uh, 38. We can start at the top. And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog and Gog, the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him. Because even though the Lord's not going to deal with, like, you know, dealing with these other nations, he's still using them to usher in this. Third world's woe, as it tells you in the scriptures, the third, the second woe is past, and the third woe cometh quickly, roughly paraphrasing. And say, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring, which means the Lord is going to bring them back as far as their spirit, you know, to really, uh, to really set the record straight, you know? Because America's not that, that big bag bully anymore. You even, you even got in Joel, in the book of Joel, where it says, let the weak say I am strong, which is referring to these lesser nations uh, joining hands with these superpower nations. Right? You have proxy wars, and soon, you know, you know, you got nations joining with like Iran, uh, Russia, China, South Korea. All right, so it says, And I will bring thee forth and all thy army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them 
handling swords, right? These are the troops being set up over there. Persia, Ethiopia, Libya, and Libya. With them, all of them with shields and helmets, right? Military equipment, ships on the sea, you know? Bases, air force, you know, flying around. So, Gomer and all his bands, the House of Turgoma of the North Quarter and all his bands and many people with thee. Here's the point. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company, right, dear allies, right, that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. So, who is going to be a guard unto them? You know? That's why it's going to be a global war, right? So let's get this real quick, Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 8, it says, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. So we're supposed to wait upon the Lord, right? Because the men of the Lord, you know, our weapons of warfare are carnal, but more spiritual to be able to break these things down, filter through the scriptures, and be able to, you know, prophesy about it. Right? It says, until the day that I rise up to the prey, for my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, which is his righteous judgment. When the Lord brings judgment, he's going to be justified. When Yahweh Shai comes back in the second return. The scriptures tell you in Isaiah 47, uh, yeah, I would, that he would not meet thee as a man. Because remember, he's coming with his army which is uh, the angels and um, angelic vehicles people call UFOs to pour upon them mine indignation even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy see so but since we made mention of um, the book of Joel let's get it <laughs> Joel chapter 3 verse 9 Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles Prepare war Wake up the mighty men Let all the men of, of war draw near Let them come up Beat your plowshares into swords And your pruning hooks into spears Let them be Salakia let, let the weak say I am strong Right it's, uh, So that they, they You know We're in the time of war So is using instruments of farming in the sense of, you know, we're not we're not in the season of growing and prosperity anymore. That was years ago with these different nations or whatever. So things had to be built up. Now, they're using the tools to, you know, for, for a, a, a form of defense. Right? Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be weakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, Yahweh Shippat, the Lord's judgment. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. So that's what Yahweh Shippat means. And it just said to judge all the heathen round about. Because scriptures say it's going to be a day of the heathen. As a matter of fact, let's get a... Let's get the book of Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5 it says for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire so like in the ancient times when they went to war it was um you know it was it was straight Hand-to-hand -hand combat, swords, shields, you know, arrows, horses, you know, they're clothed in blood. It was, it was all like a, you know, it was a complete war, a, war, a physical combative warfare. But now with the technology and things advanced, showing you we at the end. You know how the scriptures speak about the arrows being shot from one end to the earth to another. Those are not regular arrows. You see? Matter of fact, what did it say? And it's, uh, they shall not 
miss. Hold on. Matter of fact, I got it right here. Let's see, let's see. They shall not miss. This is the book of Second Ezra 16 and 13. It says, For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows, that he shooteth for short, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. And this was a vision by uh, that the Lord gave Esther. Right? There was never a, an arrow shot from over the seas. Like, come on. That's, that's, that's a future prophetic event. A vision he saw. You know, Jeremiah saw it. Isaiah saw it. John, uh, John the Revelator saw it. You know, referring to the the, 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 the missiles as, as horsemen. Also, uh, I believe Ezekiel as well, where he referred to it as one of the prophets uh, compared it to glittering swords. You know? Right, as a matter of fact, let me, uh... No. Pardon me. That's not it. Forgive me. Forgive me. All right, Job 20 and 25. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yet a glittering sword coming out, cometh out of his gout. Terrors are upon him. And these elites, why you think they hiding in these bunkers and whatnot? And they know terror is coming, man. You know, them glittering swords, the missiles coming out the, 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 the silos. All darkness shall be hid in the secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in in his tabernacle. <laughs> All right? I want to get one more precept. Lord willing, we close out. Because you got so much more scriptures. I mean, Isaiah 34, you know, uh, that, uh, you know, hey, man, elements shall melt with fervent heat. Right? But you know what? I don't want this to be too long. Lord willing, it was edifying. And, uh, hey, so with that, you know, just blowing the trumpet on this. Till next time, I'm going to say, Shalom.